Hi, I'm Joanna Berger, Animal Behaviorist at the Animal Behavior Consultancy, and I'm here today in my own messy kitchen, um, and I'm wearing a ridiculous apron over my shirt to keep my shirt clean, because today I am uh, taking the holes off of these black walnuts that I picked off, uh, found off the ground below a walnut tree, and I intend to eat the walnuts, so I have to prepare them. Um, so I wanted to make this video because I realized as I'm doing this, um, taking my knife and cutting the whole, all that flesh off of the walnut, that this is the exact behavior that I talk about parrots doing in the wild except that they do it with their beaks and they're much better at it than I am. I have opposable thumbs and I can use tools. So I'm using the knife as a tool to get that flesh off of the nut. If I had a beak like a large parrot, I could just tear that flesh right off. I could hold this nut in my foot if I were a macaw, I would have a foot big enough to hold that. Um, or I could climb th up the branches of the tree and get the nuts while they're still hanging from the tree and chew all of this flesh off to get to the delicious nut inside. Parrots eat fruit and nuts in the wild and they spend a huge amount of their time in the wild searching for fruit and nuts, uh, climbing from branch to branch, and then chewing and tearing all of that extra flesh off of the nut or cracking the nut shell with those super strong beaks that have a bunch of muscles all around them that are amazingly well adapted to do this. And they have really strong, muscular, amazing tongues too that help them to hold and position the nuts. But I just wanted you to see how long it's taking me to do this as a human. And I wish that I had a parrot here to help me with this project because it would go much faster. Um, the parrot would also love it. It's their favorite thing to do. Uh, because this is an intrinsic, like innate, um, natural, instinctual behavior for parrots, they love, love, love to do this all the time. And it keeps them really busy and gives them some physical exercise and a lot of mental exercise. It also keeps their beaks nicely occupied so they aren't doing other things with their beaks like tearing out their feathers. Um, a lot of parrot owners get frustrated when their pet parrots will chew up their walls or chew their cabinets or drawers and destroy all their furniture because the feeling of chewing on wood is really similar to the feeling of chewing the flesh off of nuts. And um, wild parrots do tear bark off of trees and uh, may eat some bark. So chewing and tearing and destroying wood is in fact a natural parrot behavior. Um, a way you can make it less likely that your bird will chew up your furniture is to provide them with a bunch of little pieces of wood to chew, or large piece, bunch of different size pieces of wood to chew. It um, doesn't have to be wood, it could be cardboard, it can be plastic toys, um, but basically what I'm doing with this nut is the same, I have the same goal that a parrot would have with what we call a foot toy, where they hold it in their foot and then chew and chew, and there's, that's, uh, that's why they have uh, parrot toys. Those toys are supposed to be chewed and destroyed by parrots. Um, sometimes it gets expensive to keep buying toys. Um, 
especially when sometimes they're $15 each and they just are going to get destroyed with all the chewing. Um, but you do need to provide something. So it can be cardboard, it can be pieces of mulch like I used in my dissertation research with African gray parrots. Um, I highly encourage people to go through their recycling and try to find items that are manipulable and destructible. So things that their parrots can hold, move around and chew. And you'll notice that I have been as I cut the flesh off, I'm dropping it. I'm dropping it into a bowl um, to catch it so it's not all over my kitchen floor, but it's similar uh, to the natural parrot behavior of tearing the flesh and then dropping it. They will drop pieces of items that they tear and chew onto your floor. Totally normal behavior, but can be very frustrating if you have a parrot living in your home. Uh, you know, you may end up sweeping a lot, but there, uh, I definitely encourage you to get really creative um, and maybe put a drop cloth or a tray down on the floor to help you collect all of the pieces that your parrot will knock and drop onto the floor. Um, because again, captive parrots must keep chewing and must be able to express that natural behavior or you'll see increased rates of severe behavior problems and uh, what is basically mental health problems and suffering uh, poor animal welfare. So this is what I'm talking about when I'm talking about foraging enrichment items or foraging substitutes. Um, we want to get our birds the opportunity to do this in captivity. And I also talk a lot about animal cognition and intelligence. I believe that every species is has uh, evolved and is suited to its own ecological niche, its own habitat. And an example of that is how highly evolved, uh, how parrots are so highly evolved to find and open nuts and fruits and they're even better at that than humans are. I think a large cockatoo or macaw um, could have opened that nut much faster than I just did. So just a little example of foraging enrichment for parrots in a, a just kind of a different way of illustrating that. Um, because I know sometimes when I'm just talking about these concepts, it's not as clear as if I can do some sort of show and tell. And even for me, like sitting, standing here doing this um, and feeling, you know, how much energy it's taking my finger, like my fingers are getting tired. Um, it's taking a lot of time. Um, it's, it's pretty fun. And it keeps me occupied. I'm not bored. Uh, I probably will sleep well tonight. And we know from animal behavior science that the same is true of animals who are provided with adequate or um, plenty of foraging enrichment so that they can do things like this during the day. Um, Parrots love problem solving and they love chewing. And they they have these behavioral needs that can be tricky to meet in captivity. But they are trying to, you know, parrots will be parrots. And being a parrot means constantly chewing and tearing and dropping pieces of nut husk or fruit. I'm 
almost done with this one. <laughs> Thanks for watching.